Hey, Shalom Israel. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. It's the brother Yatazak from Great Millstone, Dallas, and uh, on my lunch break, of course. Uh, want to um, I don't really know how I want to approach this, but it was just a, it was just a thought. You know what I'm saying? Um, Elder Yasha Wamba, the head of the Dallas camp, you know, he always um. Uh, harps on us making sure we take the spiritual aspect out of everything that we uh that we uh get into you know what i'm saying as far as the scriptures is concerned and i was talking to some uh to to, to a group of brothers on the chat and um the conversation steered towards um john chapter 21 when uh uh, uh verses 1 through 17 you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's what I'm going to get into. That's what I'm going to get into. But uh, reading those verses, reading those verses put me in the mind frame of, okay, how does that apply for today? You know? And um, I'm going to get to the, I'm going to, I'm going to get to the, uh, to the, to the, to the scriptures, but I just wanted to uh, go into the whole scenario of the Lord making the disciples fishers of men. You see what I'm saying? And, uh, the Lord giving uh, giving us pastors after His own heart, things of that nature, you know, and how they apply to this story in John chapter uh, twenty one, verses one through seventeen, you know. So um, let me get a uh, uh, Matthew four and nineteen real quick. All right, I'm gonna start at seventeen. Matthew four and seventeen. It says, "From that time." Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, you know, and being that the, the kingdom of heaven being at hand started back when uh, Yahweh Shai hit the scene. It's translated all the way up until now, you know, so that's what we preaching on the highways and the byways. Repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You see, it says, and Yahweh Shai walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew, his brother, cast in a net into the sea, uh, for they were fishers, you know. And he said unto them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men, you know, according to Jeremiah 16 and 16. Let's get that real quick. Jeremiah 16 and 16. All right. Jeremiah 16 and 16, it says, for behold, I will uh, I will send for many fishers saith the Lord, and they shall fish them, you know, uh, uh, meaning going out on the highways and the byways, the, the fishers are the prophets, going out on the highways and the byways, you know what I'm saying, it's fishing, you cast in the word out as the net, and then you bring in, you bring in uh, 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 meat that's good and bad, so you throw out what's bad and you keep what's good, you know, also another reference or another, uh, 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 another example of sifting the house of Israel. You know, because that's who we out here preaching to. We preach to all the nations, but it's to bring Israel back and to condemn the rest of the nation. So that's what the uh, whole fishing thing is going into. You know, it says, and after uh, will I send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of all the holes of the rocks. But the point in that verse that I wanted to get was the whole fishers of men thing. You see, and the Lord made the disciples fishers of men. Okay, matter of fact, let me get uh, let me get Jeremiah 13, uh, 3 and 15, because I want to back up everything I'm saying, you know, with the scriptures. All right, Jeremiah 3 and 15. It says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You see? So this is a promise that the Heavenly Father made to us, man. He said he was going to give us pastors out of, uh, 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 out of, uh, made after his own heart, and he sent his son to... Uh, build up the disciples you know what i'm saying so all these things are to get us back you know what i'm saying all right now with the lord making the disciples fishes of men now we can get into james 21 and we're gonna get verses 1 through 17 and then i gotta get back to work <laughs> No, 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 it's John 21, so lock you. I'm tripping. John 21, there we go. All right. 
Now, what I want to do, what I want to do is I want to correlate this story to today, you know, and it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a conversation that I was having amongst brothers to where it sparked in my mind, you know, and I, and I wanted to share it. So this is a uh, John chapter 21, verse one. It said, and after these things, Yahweh showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. And on this wise showed he himself. They were together, Simon Peter, uh, Simon Peter and Thomas called Didymus and Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee and the sons of uh, Zebedee and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter said unto them, I go a fishing. They say unto him, we also go with thee. They went forth and entered into the ship immediately, and that night they caught nothing. You know what I'm saying? And what that put me in the mind frame of was um, uh, uh, after the year 2000. You know, after the year 2000, the schools had broken up, and there was a split, and all these different things that happened, right? And um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a point in time in history from the year 2000 to around 2007 when the apostles and elders of Great Millstone were teaching out on the highways and the byways. Uh, seemingly with no fruit You know Say Simon Peter saith unto them I go a fishing They said unto him We also go with thee They went forth And entered into a ship immediately And that night they caught nothing But when the morning was come now uh, When the morning was now come Yahawashai stood on the shore But the disciples knew not That it was Yahawashai You know It says Then Yahawashai saith unto them Children have ye any meat they answered him, no. You know what I'm saying? So for a seven-year span, it seemed like the apostles and elders was preaching uh, without no fruit, preaching in vain. Some would have thought that. You know, the, 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 the carnal man would think that they was just out there wasting their time and they was through or whatever. You see? All right. Verse 6, it says, And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw in, uh, draw it from the multitude of fishes. So once Yahushua took over, seeing that faith, he saw that faith. He saw them fishing, you know. He saw them out on the highways and the byways, just like he saw, just like he saw the disciples back then. He saw them out on the highways and the byways. You see, I mean, well, he saw them fishing, Salakia, and he seen that they didn't catch nothing, but he seen that they were still willing to fish. They were still willing to fish. They were still willing to fish. You know? Alright. It says, uh, let me see. All right, verse 7, it says, Therefore that disciple whom Yahweh shall love said uh, unto Peter, It is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girded his fish's coat unto him, for he was naked. So he jumped up, put his clothes on, and he jumped in the water. And the other disciples came in a little ship, for they were not far, uh, not far from the land, but as it were, 200 cubits, dragging the net with the fishes. So Peter jumped back in the water, and the other disciples were trying to get the rest of the fish. It said as soon as they were uh as soon as they were come to land, they saw they saw a fire of coals there and fish laid their own and bread. So pretty much the table was set for them, you know. Yahweh seen Yahweh seen that uh diligence and obedience in the apostles and elders when nobody else saw it, man. And he rewarded them by telling them to put the net on the right side, which is the righteous side, you know what I'm saying, and look at the fruit. That's come through the apostles and elders of Great Millstone up until today with this truth being spread across all four corners of the earth. You see? That's all the Lord did. He told the apostles and elders, he said, cast the net on the right side. You know what I'm saying? And they did in obedience. All right? It said, as soon as they were there, uh, as soon as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there uh, and fish laid their own and bread. Yahweh said unto them, Bring of the fish which ye have now caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net of uh, and drew the net to the land full of great fishes, uh, an hundred and fifty and three, and all uh, and for all there were so many and for all there were so many 
yet was not the net broken. You know? So that's what I'm saying. That's a representation. That's a representation of the elect being brought in. Because the Lord said, bring me. The Lord said, bring me all the fish that you caught. You know what I'm saying? And the net, the net was not broken. I would say it was it was an abundance of fish, but the net wasn't broken. So like I mentioned earlier, you keep what's good, you throw out what's bad. All of that was good. You see? It says, Yahweh shall say it unto them, Come and dine, and none of the disciples durst ask him, What art thou, knowing that it was the Lord? So it, it was no question about it. It was no question that it was the Lord. Because you got to keep in mind, man, the Lord was gone. <laughs> the Lord was gone at that point. You see? Well, he was going back to the spirit world. I'm going to say it like that. It says, This is now the third time that Yahweh shall show it himself. To his disciples after the uh, after that he was risen from the dead. You see? So they had seen him. This was the third time they had seen him since he had been resurrected. You see? But it was that diligence that the apostles and elders uh, were able to exude through those years where it seemed like wasn't nothing happening. And by them casting the net on the other side, look at what's going on, man. We almost out of here, man. We almost out of here, man. The prophecy's popping. The word is being spread all over the uh, uh, earth. Uh, uh, and pretty much mass production, man, because the spirit is on the apostles and elders to push. You know, I'm going to keep reading. It says, uh, verse 15, John 21 and 15. It says, so when they had dined, Yahweh uh, said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou, me, uh, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, feed my lambs. He saith unto him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, feed my sheep. Verse 17, he saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? And Peter was grieved because he had said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh shall saith unto him, feed my sheep. You see? So, having that mindset, the Lord saw that diligence. He rewarded it by giving them fruit. You see what I'm saying? And then you see, right after he gave them the fruit and he prepared that meal and he let them know what was going on, what did he tell them to do? He told them to push. He asked Peter, the head of the church, three times. He said, do you, if you love me, feed my sheep. If you love me, feed my sheep. If you love me, feed my sheep. Through the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and that diligence that they showed for that seven year span, that was seven years. Come on now. That was a complete number of time, you know? You know, it was just like when Alicia, uh, uh, when, when Alicia had to, uh, uh, um, the uh, seven, seven, uh, 7, thousand men had to have a bow they need to Baal. You know what I'm saying? Alicia had to show that brother through the spirit that we weren't alone. You see? And that's what the Lord did with this great millstone, with this great millstone and the apostles and elders and pushing this word, man. That's how it happened spiritually through this, uh, today. You see, he rewarded them for that diligence. And he said, look, if y'all love me, feed my sheep. And ever since then, they've been feeding the sheep. You know what I'm saying? Ever since they cast the net on the right side of the boat and pulled in all that fish to show the Lord what they had brought. They have been pushing the word, man, because that was the instruction, you know. That was the instruction. So, yeah, man. Yeah, that was just a thought that I wanted to share with y'all brothers, man. You know, the net has been casted on the right side. The fruit is being gathered, man. You see? And it ain't no way, it ain't no way you can, uh, it ain't no way that you can get around that if you're looking at it spiritually, man. You see? So, the Lord made pastors after his own heart. You see? He made pastors after his own heart. He set up his son to train them up to usher in the kingdom of heaven starting 2,000 years ago and is working his way up today. A work is being worked that they wouldn't believe in no, even though a man had told them. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, man, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom, Akim. Shalom.